Gilroy Gardens is a family theme park located in Gilroy, California. And with it being home to many plant themed attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Gilroy Gardens. Starting off at number 10, we have Garlic Twirl. And no matter whether you want to spin more than you have ever spun before, or you are just looking for a fun family ride, then this rather yummy sounding attraction is just for you. The only thing is however, this is not your normal ride, because as soon as you have boarded your giant garlic, not only will you be spun around on two giant plates, but by using the disc in the center, you can make yourself spin as fast as your heart's content. How cool is that? And so I would feel wrong not putting it on our top 10 list. All aboard! As for our number 9 spot, we have Bonafante Railroad a Train Ride where you will get the opportunity to board a one third replica of an 1863 CP Hardiston steam train for a leisurely 15 minute ride around the park's stunning landscapes, theming and rides. Nevertheless, what makes this ride so great is the fact that in addition to being able to put your legs up and enjoy the entire circuit around the park, you can also get off at either the Redwood or Coyote Junction, making it also a very useful mode of transport. Choo choo! For our number 8 spot on our top 10 list, things are starting to become a lot higher, as we have Skytrain Monorail, and similar to Bonafanti Railroad train ride, just a little bit higher in the sky, you'll be toured around even more of the park's landscapes, plants and rides, including my personal favourite part, the famous Monarch Gardens greenhouse from a bird's eye view, making it both a perfect experience for all of those photographers out there and one which a trip to Gilroy Gardens would be nowhere near complete without a ride on. If riding through the sky is not for you though, then do not fear, as our number 7 position, we have Rainbow Garden Round Boat Ride, the park's believe it or not water attraction, and despite it you not getting anywhere at all, which would be nice on those hot Californian days. It is still really fun to be able to climb aboard a four person round boat that will then both slowly glide and spin through the landscapes in addition to once again the Monarch Gardens greenhouse allowing you to get some fantastic close up views of all of its plants, this time however from the ground level. Who here has ever wanted to drive their very own car? Well, if that is you, then you have got to take a ride on our number 6 spot, South Country Backroads. As similar to such rides as Autopia at the Disney parks, you and up to one other person will be able to climb aboard your very own 1950s car, put your foot to the metal, and take a trip around lots of fun and highly themed scenes on the South County backroads. Isn't that just awesome? The question is however, will you be able to keep your car on the road or would you drive all of the other drivers crazy? Ding ding. Top 5 work work and coming in for this spot we have balloon flight. The ride has taken your classic hot air balloon ride to the next level, and here is how. 
Now, of course, it would not be a hot air balloon ride without boarding a basket that will then rise high into the sky. And this ride is no different. Yet what brings it to the next level is the fact that in addition to this, your hot air balloon will also spin around and around and around in circles, creating an experience that will cause even the bravest of explorers to hold on very, and I mean very tight. You can't have a theme park without a swing ride. And Gilroy Gardens is no exception, as for our number 4 spot we have Mushroom Swing, Gilroy Gardens Swing Ride. And so before we do begin to talk about the experience itself, with it being a very common ride from all around the world, if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we we'll suggest riding the more unique attractions first. Yet if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed with you rising, spinning and tilting through the air, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Here we are at the top 3 rides at the park, and for our number 3 spot we have Banana Split, the pirate ship ride that will make you peel over with laughter. Ding ding. Okay, that was a horrendous banana pun, however this ride sure isn't, with as soon as you have boarded the boat, and for the best overall experience, we would suggest either the back or the front row, you will rock back and forth, higher and higher, until you are literally flying out of your seat for the entire ride duration. And you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that this is totally bananas. Between number 2 and 1, it was tough. However, after a lot, and I mean a lot of consideration, we have decided to put Timber Twister at the number 2 spot. And with it being situated within the woods, Already you know that you are in for a treat, and you will not be wrong, with its very, and I mean very, long snake racing around many Zanziera drops, turns, and airtime hills at a pretty fast speed. And so there is no doubt in my mind that this is both a perfect first ever coaster for all of those younger thrill seekers out there and a definite must-do ride at the park. We have made it to the number one spot, and in my eyes for the best ride at the park, we have Quicksilver Express Mine Coaster. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, from the moment you walk into the park and see this highly themed mine train, you will instantly want to jump aboard. And you should definitely do just that, as words literally cannot describe how fun the many drops, turns, airtime hills, tunnel sections and helixes really are. And so I would feel wrong not putting it at our number one spot. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.